All right, guys. Game two has started. If you watched game one, you saw me and Gladys, who's on the left serving, far left. I'm in the green McKenna shirt on the far right. You saw us running kind of away with it, beating Giant J and Brian. Um, but in this game, I really want to keep some stats here. We're going to keep track of unforced errors. Oh, there's uh, no unforced error there, but Gladys, you can't hit the ball that high. Anyway, um, on this night, NRSA, some of their best players are going to take on some of our Westmore tennis pros. Slash, oh, look at me clowning, trying to get him to miss the serve. Uh, pickle pros, I guess you could say. Teaching pros. All right. Good. Oh, Brian was the first error. Demigod arrives and is already chirping at Brian. Love it. Came right when he makes an error. Um, you know what? I'm only going to keep track of me and uh, Steven's error. So right now, Steven's at one. I'm at zero. Oh, actually, we'll, we'll go zero, zero from here on out. Just keeping track of unforced errors. Zero, zero, one. Let's see. And by Steven, I mean Gladys. Dink a lot. And you'll notice he dinks a lot. Oh, Gladys, there's number one. That's your first unforced error, Gladys. Ah, that's a forehand high. You got to put that away. Oh, big serve out wide to the backhand. Good reset by Giant J there. Oh, and there's Gladys in his comfort zone back in that cross court dink. Good little slice there. Keeping it low. Keeping it low. Oh, not an unforced error because I got a paddle. You know what? I'm calling that an unforced error. Uh, no kitchen cam. Me. Uh, I just I shifted too much to the middle. Uh, not that the shift was bad. I just got to get back there from the cross court balls. I was lackadaisical, stuck in the middle. So Gladys has one unforced. No kitchen cam has one unforced error. Let's see who wins the error battle. But more importantly, we got to win this game to close out this two or three. Gladys. Oh my gosh. All right, so Gladys is at two errors. Two unforced errors. And, I mean, it's zero or one, zero, one. You know, we already have two unforced errors. That's too many. And I have one already. And Brian, we're not even going to keep track of Brian's errors. I don't I don't think I can count that high at Brian. Gladys, good middle return there. Just wasn't deep enough. Oh, Jay. Oh, good hands, Gladys. Get back into it. All right, we're stuck in no man's land, though. And that's just... It's too defensive on our body position. we got to get a ball down in the kitchen and move in. Or just get all the way back to the line. This video is brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Not really. I wish. One day. Good deep middle return and the fancy footwork. Just girding the kitchen fault there. I mean, I guess you would call that an Ernie, but really it was just me making sure that I was out of the way uh, with my left foot outside of the boundary line so I wouldn't pitch and fall. I could get a little bit more power on that ball. Jay with the good little speed up there. Oh, Gladys in his comfort zone, the dink. Oh, good leave by Gladys. All right, let's make sure I'm recording. Oh, we're good. All right. Yeah, I'm an amateur YouTuber, just like an amateur football player. Here we go. All right, one, two, one. I think the error count's still correct. Oh, give me an error on that. That ball was going so far out, and I just, I don't know why. Giant J. I mean, I remember live just thinking, why did he hit that target? High of my hitting shoulder. I just didn't expect it, and I swatted at it. So I have two unforced errors, no kitchen cam. Two for Gladys Dinks a lot. Good. This is what we want right here. Backhand to backhand. Make Giant J bend down and get those low balls. Very consistent play by Steven. Sets up my put away. Ryan gets a hand on it, but that's right at his body. All right. So we're looking at a score of 2-2-2, two, 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 all the twos. That serve is not deep enough or fast enough. Good little drop there. Thinking down the line. Oh, Steven, good get off the net cord. And that's a bad ball by Jay. In the middle. My forehand's there. I'm sitting on it. All right. I'm not keeping track of our winners. I should. I feel like with me and... Gladys are going to have a pretty high winner count in this one. 3-2-2. Two, two. Just going back. Oh, Gladys, that's an unforced error. These counts may not be perfect, but I'm going to give Gladys three unforced errors and me two right now. Some of the, when I say unforced, it's an, it's an error off a ball you should make. Sometimes like that, Brian, I wouldn't necessarily call that an error right there. That's a forced error. Gladys forced the error there. Now, at this level, we should be making that back, though. Good return, good action. Ooh, it was just wide. All right, 3-3, me and Gladys tied for unforced errors over here. 
that forehand roll does not need to be that perfect. No one was poaching in the middle, but you got a big guy, Jay. So you're always worried about that roll through the middle there. Getting poached. Gladys with the good put away. You see on the side, Demigod and Pretty Boy Cam just went over. They're walking around the back of the court so they can go warm up on the court to the right. So we'll monitor their terrible warm up. Just kidding. Ooh, that's a big serve. Missed return. Uh, Giant J probably wants that one back. I, he looks flat footed. He's just coming in too early. You can't miss a return. It's just too many freebies. Ooh, good job by Gladys taking that. Good low drop. Still at three errors apiece. Oh, there's Pretty Boy Cam dinking on the other side with his legacy paddle. That's a better serve. Right on the back line. That's kind of a high looping third. Into the body bag. There's one. You hear I'm keeping track on Brian. We had a gentleman's agreement before the first game that we were going to go for body bags. And we actually didn't do that. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Right, that's four unforced. I just missed a serve. Are you kidding me? Like... Just like I said, you can't miss returns. You can't miss serves. Like I mean, you gotta go for them here, but it's doubles. It's not as important. And there's the fifth unforced error. Golly. And I don't usually drive my thirds, but like every once in a while you wanna change it up. But that was lazy. The backswing was short, which I like, but I was standing straight up and down. You just can't do that. Brian, another unforced error. Good job by Gladys keeping him back, but got it. Woo! Brian, come on, dude. I don't want to keep track of your errors. You'd be leaving, leading that charge. All right. So I have five, I believe. Gladys has three. Oh, good hands, good hands. All right, no unforced error there. But I left it high. Got to keep that lower. I may have six unforced errors by now. Counting is not my strong suit. Can you tell? Can't even keep a score. See? Oh, but at least I'm nice and remind Brian he should be up there. That's Me and Gladys are getting a little lead here. Good drops. Got to drop the ball at Jay. Make him play the low balls. Take away his ability to hurt you with his reach, hopefully. Oh, Gladys, you can't be missing dinks. 4-6. Uh, Gladys has four errors. Oh, sorry, 4-5. Four, four errors. I have five errors. Here we go. Oh, that's an unforced. I mean, it was a drive, but Gladys would be the first to tell you that he's got to make that. Five errors each. That's a good serve. On the, no, it was a little long. Okay. Five errors each on our side. Gladys in. No kitchen cam. Good little change up. Oh, I'm sitting on that. What a get by Jay, though. Giant Jay, and then Brian handles the rest. Not going to give an error out for either player on that, but I will say Jay had the best defensive shot when I hit that two in the back and right at him. He just sent it right back. Ooh, that drop. You got to make that drop. Oh, once again, this video is brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Just kidding. Hopefully one day, but yeah, long ways to go for that. All right, look at me not knowing the score again. What a great deep return. That drop lands inside the line. Good little angle there. Oh, we get stuck in the back too soon here, and then I'm giving myself an error on that ball. Like, yeah, you're in the back, and it's defensive, but you got to make that. All right, Gladys has five errors. No Kitchen Cam has six and just like that, it's 6-5-2. Hang on to a slim lead here, but we need to we need to grow it. Put them out. Ooh. Ball was just on the sideline. Long rally here. And that's just stupid. I'm giving myself my seventh error on that one. I saw Jay wasn't really prepared for it, but Brian's ball was moving too fast and was low. That was just a low percentage. <laughs> That backhand speed up. I mean, I do like to speed up on the backhand side, but that's low percentage. Good deep serve by Brian. I don't know if that was going in or out, but I chose to play it. He's ripping it fast with a lot of spin. Oh, got him wide. Gets another air out of that backhand dink. Really, every time me and Gladys get to the kitchen line, I feel pretty confident we're going to win a lot of these points. That's our strategy. we got to get up. When we get stuck on the way in is where we get trouble. Ooh, I don't think that was a body bag. I think it got paddle first. Well, I guess it might have been paddle then body, but at the very least it got paddle. It's not an error by Gladys, but get your hands up, buddy. Jay's coming at you. Six five two. Kind of stalled out this score. We gotta get we gotta get it to seven here. Ooh, the little Ernie. 
And I missed it. I just, I think I was hesitant there. All right, so I'm at eight errors. Gladys is at five. Well, there's Gladys' sixth error. So, another volley off a drive. Can't be missing those. That's the second one off Brian's drive, I believe. So we got six errors by Gladys, eight by me. Good. Oh, Gladys, great point. Put it away through the middle. Down the middle solves the riddle, everybody. If you're watching this channel, hit the wide ball like you just did, and then target the middle if someone doesn't shift over. Jake shifted a little, but there was just too much of a gap. I call that Broadway, the middle of the court. You can't get beat down the middle. It's dramatic, like a Broadway musical production. You're going to be looking at your partner like, come on, man. You didn't help me out in the middle? Brian, too many balls in the top shelf of the net, my man. We're sitting at eight errors for no kitchen cam, six for Gladys. Um... I'm going to give Gladys an error on that. He hit it high and he missed the next ball. I'm going to go with seven errors for Gladys. Eight for no kitchen cam. Got to get these balls down. Yep. Oh, Brian giving us a freebie. I remember thinking that I actually was intentionally going to drop Brian's forehand so he'd try and rip it. Because then we could know that he was coming. He wasn't going to take it. Oh, can't be missing that. Nine errors by me, seven by Gladys. Six, seven, one's our score. And at this point, we're letting the game get away from ourselves. Ooh, Jay should have poached that. Not going to give him a chance the second time. Good rip by Gladys. Way to come over and take that forehand. Forehand gets to the middle there when you get that swinging ball right there. Six, seven, two. Oh, scores in the middle of the court. Sorry, guys. Amateur editor again. Good. Good drop by... Oh, nope. I spoke too soon. Oh, I'm going to say... Nine errors for no kitchen cam, seven for Gladys. It's just too much at this point in the match. Too many freebies, and that's why we're not pulling away with this. And that ball's high, and Brian wisely hits the open space. Seven six two. Great deep serve by Gladys. Now let's hit that drop. Oh, he's at eight errors, eight unforced. Come on. Gladys, that's your good. That's your one of your best shots to that inside-out drop, especially after a big serve pushing Jay back. Your target was pretty big there. Getting a good little dink battle here. Oh, Brian, 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 Brian. I should have edited in the error counter beforehand so I don't miss it up. Oh, that guy's out. That was out. All right. So, but from what I understand, we got. Gladys at eight errors, no kitchen cam at nine, and we got the the stalling tactic, tying your shoe. No, it wasn't. I just wanted to get a little bit tighter shoelaces there. Slipping around in my shoes. There we go. That's too high. That's too high. Come on, find the kitchen. There we go, Gladys. Where do you find the kitchen? That's why I'm no kitchen cam because I can't hit the drop in the kitchen. Oh, Gladys, that's an error. We're at nine errors each. All right. So pretty even between me and Gladys and unforced, but pretty high all around. We have to lower those errors. Ooh, what a paddle move by Brian. And Brian cleans up shop there. Just no kitchen balls. We didn't get anything down. Six, seven, one. Me and Gladys are barely hanging on to lead here. We got to hit some good shots. All right, all right. Nine errors apiece. Let's see if we can keep it under 10 for a while. That's the key to getting ahead here. Ooh, I should have left that for outer. Gladys is four. Got a little lucky there. Oh, 10th error by Gladys. Ding, 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 10. That's. I would say that you want to keep your whole game under 10 errors. Probably under five or six would be ideal. But definitely, once it gets into double digits, that's too high. And it may seem like I'm picking... Oh, Brian! No, look! It looked like he was trying to get out of the way from getting hit, and he still got it back. What a point here. Good cross-court dink. Oh, I like that he changed it up. Oh, the Ernie by Mr. Gladys! Or Mrs. Gladys, I should say. I will say that Steven should wipe out one of one to ten of his errors just from that point alone. That was a beauty. Gladys, good job. I keep calling him Steven. That, Steven doesn't exist anymore. His name is Gladys. So Gladys is still at 10 errors though, we really got it. Oh, 11 errors, oh my gosh. 
I could argue that this game should have been a blowout if we just didn't make unforced errors. But we also got a ton of unforced errors from the other side, so got to clean it up. Oh, the ATP with the lightning strike post. Ding! It's like the worst sound in sports when you slam a pickleball into the post and you know you should have hit it around the post. 7-7. Seven, seven. Here we go. I think it was a 2, oh. not a 1. But. Oh. Seven, seven, no, it was 7-7-1. Seven, seven, now it's 7-7-2. Seven, seven, Trying to serve. Gladys is at 11 errors due to that ATP hitting the post. I believe I'm still at 9, but I may have missed one in there. I'll edit the counter when I count it, and then we can see how bad my counting is. Good low ball. Oh, Gladys cleans up shop there. Good. Good stuff. You know, I wanted Brian to come on and commentate this game, but we'll have to do that on a future game. Big serve, good return, kind of a floater. Gladys is trying to set me up to die. Oh, hand speed, get that out of here. Don't come at me. Yeah, oh, it comes at me again, yeah. Sometimes it's a game of dodgeball. Rip that back in and get out of the way. No errors there. That's a pretty good point right there. We got some good hands battles. That serve was not deep enough. That drop was too high. Another drop too high. There we go. Finally found the kitchen. No kitchen cam finds the kitchen. Now we're in a good rally zone. Oh my gosh. And he misses a routine backhand. Dang. Getting to double digit errors at 10. So no kitchen cam with 10 errors. Gladys with roughly 11. That's a great deep serve. Oh, just playing too fast I am over there. Slow it down. Slow it down. Good, Gladys. Oh, that's all good. I got you. I got you. He went for the Ernie, but Brian wisely didn't give it to him. Oh, that's too wide, Brian. Too wide. I'm on fire. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Love the backhand ATP. Don't hit wide on me. I'm coming around the post at you. 9-7-2. Me and Gladys only need two more. Let's run away with this bad boy. Ooh, Brian cleverly gets the middle. I might have slid over and helped Steven, but or Gladys, sorry. I probably should have slid over a little bit. Seven nine one, alright. Well, we don't want to give him the momentum back after that ATP and getting up nine seven. And that's not gonna do it. Giant J too high. I'm not gonna count the last error or the ball Steven missed as an error. Um it might have been both our errors. One half. I probably should have helped him in the middle there. Um, so we're sitting at 10 errors for no kitchen cam, 11 for Gladys, dink a lot. And we're serving up 971. Let's see if we can put an exclamation point on this game and did it out so we don't have to go to a third game. Ooh, Gladys, good dink. Oh, that's tough. What a get. Oh, and a switch. I like it. Gladys is still there. Good communication. That gets the sideline. Are you kidding? Oh, he's going. Give me the money. The camera. That was, that was, Gladys, I gotta give it to him. That was a good hustle. I mean, the man's like 80,000 years old. He got to all those balls. Like, what a job. Everyone give Mrs. Gladys a high five or a clap. There we go. 10 7. We're on the one. Match point. And an error. He gets stuck in the backhand. If he goes forehand there, he rips that for at least unforced error, maybe. Or a uh, forced error. 10 7 2. Match point number two, I would say. And Gladys is up to 12 errors. And Jay, no, you can't end a game like that. GG, the the NRSA GOAT um, Gladys combines with the Westmore Pickleball Pro or Teaching Pro, No Kitchen Cam, the trader who left the Westmore to beat two Westmore guys. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to Pickleball.